Hi everyone, I'm here today with Mark Noble. Mark, how you doing mate? Had a busy day, yeah. but I've persuaded him to have a little chat with me about, um, obviously Mark, you're sponsored by Adidas. How long have you been sponsored by Adidas for now? Uh, about seven, eight years now, I think. I've oh. been wearing Adidas boots, so yeah, they've, I mean, they've obviously only just brought out the, uh, the last few years with the Preds, of, yeah. like back to normal. I mean, these ones here, these are the first ones I ever, I ever so you was a kid, weren't you? Yeah, they, yeah. They, I think these these were back then, weren't they? Yeah, these, these are 99. These were Zidane. That's oh, right, I yeah. Them being Zidane, Zidane, Hamden Park as well. Yeah, I just, they was, uh, they was the boots to have, weren't they? Yeah. And, um, to, be, to be honest, they don't they don't make them like that anymore. Obviously, all, no. most of the boots now ain't leather. No, I mean. Yeah, a lot of them are like, I don't Do you like the boots of today? Um, to be honest, I, I think because of, because Adidas and leather. Yeah. As soon as we wear these once or twice, they stretch and they yeah, become yeah, loose yeah. on your foot. I prefer the design. Yeah, well, yeah of course. The yeah, but but they end cool. up making too many boots because yeah, exactly. the ones we use now, they um they don't stretch as much, so you can mm. get a lot more wear out of them. So obviously you used with Nike when you started at West Ham. Yeah. I remember that, right? And then obviously, so then how do Adidas? Do they come to the club or? The uh, do you, agent? I, I don't know really. I just my my contract was up with Nike and um and Adidas um. Offered me a, a lot yeah, offered me a deal, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and to be honest, I mean, I don't think for even like for unless you're the, the top top boys now, the money's not great in in, in football. Oh really? So it's yeah. just free boots. Yeah, it's yeah. just like wearing the boots, and yeah, because um, we go through obviously quite a lot of boots a, a year. Do they? Because um, you have notes on your boots. Yeah. yeah. Do they ask you? Is that just standard? They no, just they ask you what you want. A lot of the boys have yeah. kids' names and all that. But uh, to be honest, I'm not too fussed. I'm, yeah. I'm not too fussed about it at all. It's long. I'll keep my boots in uh, for quite a while now, so yeah. So um, it's not a new pair if you're going. No, no, no. A lot of people that, do it. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't. No, you don't. You, you probably could, but by yeah. the time, like, by the time you you break them, I, mean, I even wear the ones I wear in games in training now yeah. because you, I mean, you plan you plan on unbelievable pitches every week. Yeah, of course, yeah. Training pitches are class, so it makes no difference. I mean, back in the day though, Mark, like when we used to wear our boots, you're probably the same. You used to have to break them in a bit, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you'd wear them for a season. But now we've got we've got like um, they're like steamers. So what happens is there's like a big con a metal box, and you put you put water in the bottom, right? And it heats up, it creates steam. So the, the kit man puts them in in the morning. All oh, right. So and then cool. when you get them out, they're literally like they're all, they're already soft. Oh they're, really? It's like you can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's going on we we see it in um, <clears throat> we see the machines in Seattle when we when we went on preseason there. Right. Got you. And um, Seattle for the Seattle Seahawks for their NFL team. All oh, right. And then our kit man asked for the company, and he bought them back, and it's just like because even like six months through the winter, when yeah. if you leave them in the kit room, in the boot room, they just go solid just right. overnight. Yeah. But um, obviously with this steamer, you put them in in the morning. But we travel everywhere the steamers now. He, he takes them to all your away games. Yeah, that's mad. See, like on uh, these are um, Gaz boots from back in '97. But if you see them from the ones that like we used to get out of shops, they're completely different. But well, this is all shaven off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is the boots from what I see, and you know, I've got a few of the players' boots today. These seem to look like like the shop. Boots. They seem exactly the same. Yeah, it dep depends. That like you can ask for, but the to be honest, now it, I mean, um, the the new ones have got the little pimples on, but yeah, but it, is it, that just for a show? Yeah, just it makes no difference. Really. Yeah, yeah it, it makes no difference. Yeah. But even like these now, you see like not a lot of you wouldn't get a lot of this now. No like mud on the toe because there there ain't no mud on pitches no, no, anymore. Not not, crazy, not in the Premier League anyway. That's, so that's changed. Your personal opinion, uh, Mark. Obviously, I played. I'm a bit older than you, but I used to play in all these shop ball boots. Do you think the Predator worked? Obviously, you know, Craig Johnson obviously invented them. Yeah. I see, you've seen the programs, didn't you? Oh, do you know what? I don't know. To be honest, tough. Isn't you, it? you see, you see people taking like obviously Beck's taking free kicks, but yeah, players without Preds took I free think, kicks. Yeah, I think. Uh, did he? I'm wondering whether he had these, whether he had them because oh. when, when when we was young, when I was younger. Um, a lot of the Preds used to take these out. Yeah, the, these in. are uh, Beckham's from 1999. Well, these are the Accelerator. I mean, as we all know, Beck used to extend the tongue. Then he used to have these extra studs. Yeah, with him, so he's shaving them down. Yeah, because they used crazy. to. Obviously, they, I think they used to come like that, didn't they? Yeah. And then yes, the right. They used to change the sole because that's it. He wanted the uh, the proper studs. Yeah, that's it. I mean, Beckham was the one who sort of set it all off when he. We all copied sort of thing, I suppose. But, uh, that's unreal that you've got them two pairs. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
Listen, Mark, it's been great speaking to you today. Thank you for everything, mate. No problem. Mark Noble. It's been a considerable delay here for Mark Noble. It will be Noble. He beats Doyle, and West Ham have a deserved lead here at St Andrews. Thank you.